What does fundraising look like in a parish church? Well, for me recently, it has looked like this, sleeping in a tent in the back garden of my um, vicarage, right next to the cemetery wall. In the middle of July this year, I wondered how I might like to try and raise some money for all the things that we need to do at our church. We've got big projects, buildings work, parish share, all the usual things that we need to address. And in the middle of July, sleeping in a tent sounded like a great idea. In the middle of October, it was a rather different matter. Through all the storms and the rain and the wind and the freezing temperatures, every night in here. It was really good fun. It raised lots of money, but most of all, it allowed lots of conversations to happen about what the church did and what we were planning to do with the funds that we raised. Through doing this, I've been reminded again of how the fundraising that we do isn't always understood. The challenges that we face take some time to explain. It's opened conversations about what the church needs money for anyway and it talks and offers potential for discovering new ways new possibilities that we can spend the money that we can raise as our communities and respond to the needs that we discover so my husband timothy is vicar at a couple of other churches in the same deanery and he has been responding to the other fundraising challenges that they face too Yes, yeah, so as well as the usual things like coffee mornings and uh, knit and natter groups and our Christmas tree festival, um, I found myself training for most of last year for a half marathon uh, in Manchester. I'm not a runner, usually see running as for emergencies, but there I was um, and raised enough money for some new furniture for our children's groups. Fundraising is a perennial challenge, but like with Hannah's sleeping out, um, the marathon I found has been a really good way of getting that conversation going, of people coming together to talking about and really exploring why it is we need uh, the money, what wonderful things we can do with it to work with God in the things he's calling us to do in our parishes. The wonderful thing I enjoyed about the challenge of sleeping in this tent was the conversations that it opened up with people far beyond those who normally sit in our pews on a Sunday morning. I walked into one of the local pubs and met a lovely gentleman who asked me, are you really sleeping outside in a tent for the whole of October, every single night? Really? Why? And it was great to be able to have that conversation with him and tell it why it really mattered to us.